The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number four, printed in House Report number 112-485, offered by Mr. Rohrbacher of California. Pursuant to House Resolution 661, the gentleman from California, Mr. Rohrbacher, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from California. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Since 9-11, the United States has given Pakistan about $22 billion. That money has served only to embolden Pakistan's government to maintain the brutal repression over its own people and to continue its blatant support for terrorist attacks on neighboring countries as well as attacks on American troops in nearby Afghanistan. My amendment would cut off all aid in this bill designated for Pakistan. It would end the charade that we are buying cooperation in the ongoing struggle against terrorist forces in South Asia. Pakistan isn't with us in a war against terrorism. They are at war with us. Pakistan, at best, is a war profiteer collecting a ransom from taxing our military supplies that pass through their country, which for the past six months, by the way, they have closed to resupplying our forces in Afghanistan. They are laughing all the way to the bank. Of course, the Pakistani people will never see any of that money. The corruption in Pakistan itself is reason not to give aid to them, which they will then pilfer. Furthermore, they use their military power to butcher uh, the Baluchis and others who don't want to be under their corrupt thumb. How can we forget this same Pakistani government gave safe haven to Osama bin Laden after he led the conspiracy that slaughtered 3,000 Americans on 9-11? After our SEALs went in to get him, the Pakistani government took the wreckage of a downed stealth helicopter of ours and gave it for study to communist China, whom they refer to as our, our what was it now, our all-weather friend. The Pakistani government has gone so far as to arrest and imprison without trial Dr. Afridi, the doctor who helped us gather the intelligence that located Osama bin Laden in the nest that this Pakistani government had provided him right there in Pakistan. The Pakistani government threw him in jail and are talking about trying him for treason for the good deed that he helped us in bringing to justice the man who slaughtered 3,000 of our citizens. And we can continue to give money to these people even as we ignore the suffering of Dr. Afridi, who is in prison now, languishing in prison, and all of us are forgetting this hero? We have lost almost 2,000 American, Americans who defend our country as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. Most of those deaths were due to Pakistani-inspired and supported insurgents. How much more does the Pakistan government have to do before we quit giving them our money? They are playing us like fools while murdering our soldiers. And yes, we are acting like fools for giving them this money despite that. We should have quit bankrolling this rotten regime a long time ago. My amendment would do just that. The Pakistan, uh, the Pakistan government is a terrorist government that murders and even attacks its own people like they are in, in Balochistan. They are a pro-terrorist, radical Islamic clique that rules Pakistan. They don't deserve one penny from us to help them in their dirty deeds. And I would ask support from my colleagues. And let's finally stand up. If we, need a, if we need an ally in that area, let's go to some people in that area that want to be our friends, perhaps the Indians. I uh, uh, reserve the balance of my the time. The gentleman reserves. What purpose does the gentleman from Washington seek? California has one, one minute remaining. The gentleman from uh, Washington has 45 seconds remaining. All right. And is it uh, then I would uh, proceed and... Uh, uh, it's my understanding that the other side closes in this? From Washington has the right to close. Okay, thank you very much. Then I will proceed. Uh, well, I have here uh, 19 pages, I believe, or is it uh, 13 pages of restrictions that we have had on Pakistan aid over the last few years. 13 pages of restrictions that have meant nothing. During the time that we have been giving them billions of dollars with all of these restrictions, they have been giving safe haven to Osama bin Laden, who massacred and slaughtered 3,000 Americans. How can we forget about that? 
How can we just go out and give these people money? Yeah, Pakistan is our friend. No, Pakistan, the people of Pakistan can be our friend. They are our friend. But we have to recognize that their government has, has, is a terrorist-supporting government and a radical Islamic-supporting government. And we continue to give them money as they support insurgents that kill our people overseas. Is there any doubt about that? Admiral Mullen confirmed it for us. Why are we ignoring that? We're acting like fools and we're acting like cowards. It's time for us to stand up for the American defenders who are over there putting their lives on the line and say no. If we can't give, if we're, if we're going to give money to the people killing you, we're not going to do that, period. That's going over the line. I would suggest to my General colleagues to join me in defunding the enemy of the United States. General